Hey yo people, I'm Kipper 3 and welcome to a, uh, a newer mystery game, actually, called The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Now, this came out back in February, and uh, I had it on my wish list for a while. Before that, I had seen some trailers, I had seen some promos for it. It looked really good. Um, Steam sent me an email when it came out. I was like, heck yeah, I bought it, I was gonna play it, and then COVID hit and I haven't been able to record much. Uh, but after just finishing Stock Synth House, I didn't really want to do much more VR. I wanted to do a little bit more sit down and play. Um, it's a lot of work to do VR videos, and I kind of want to take for a break from that for a bit. And I thought about Cubescape, I need to get back to that. And then I thought about this game, and I thought, I should try it. It's been a while uh, since I got it, and it looks really good. I don't know much about the story. I believe, if I am correct, you play as... A woman whose father just died and you inherited his hotel and there's a story behind the hotel and you have to figure it out it's also more of a walking simulator type thing which um, for those of you who don't know is more centered around the story than it is about actual like gameplay this game also really reminds me of like uh, the vanishing of Ethan Carter which is one of my favorite games of all time I did a let's play of that long time ago back when I was still new to YouTube. Very cringy, but if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. And without much more further ado, let's get right on into the suicide of Rachel Foster. My dear Nicole. Okay, click. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and... I don't- fair, fair, that's what it's saying. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech, high school graduation. First, after your speech at high school graduation. And then it says something different at the bottom. Faced with a dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. Okay, that says something totally different than the page. Why the crap? I've always thought of you as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Okay, so it's not her father that she inherited it from, I guess. It's for her mother? I don't know. Hold on. Ooh. Do I... Oh, I can move. So I'm assuming my mother died. Get out of my way! I gotta see the grave. Oh. The affairs your father had with that young woman a years, nine years ago, and her ensuing suicide, oh, broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. Oh, so her father had, ooh, had an affair, and the lady had an affair with committed suicide. That your father had irre irreparably betrayed our trust, and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your, your shoulder at the first game, when you when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against abortion in your first year at college. Okay, so those are a couple of different random memories. And when Duncan was a good kid. <clears throat> oh, it just cuts off. Duncan was a good kid. But even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much f to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm assuming there's more to the suicide than just her committing suicide. It's a, it's a mystery game, so... I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure the pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past. Once and for all, that is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's, and you're, you're entitled to it. 
Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a, a lawyer in Helena, Miss Jenkins, or Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. Oh, once the father passes away, okay. So he is the one who died. I will already be gone long. Long gone? Gone long? Take a quick inspection. Sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off... Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchild's children's birth, but that's it. We didn't know how much time we have. Or we don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for. Fighting for a dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother. June 24th, 1991. Is that the end of the letter? Now I'm gonna get to the grave. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Casket. Well, that's a harsh note to start the story off. Yeah, car. Let's go. Helena National Forest, Montana, U.S., December 1993, so two years after the letter was written. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest National Helena, Reserve. Helena, not Helena. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955 oh. with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? Ooh. That's not good because I'm going to get stuck at the hotel. I can feel it. I'm going to get stuck. Something bad's going to happen and it's not going to be good. I don't like that. Ooh. The oh. smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Alright. It's a little laggy, but I think I'm just moving my thing too fast. Wait, what was that? Leonard's motorbike. Alright, who's Leonard? I'm assuming he's uh, the tool guy. Um, oh, I can walk faster. This is as fast as I can go, though. That's kind of... Can I open doors? I can't. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming that's just the storm that's so loud outside. Uh. Check in. Alright. Check in, reception, hall, locker room. Wait. Hold up. Check in, reception, hall, and locker room's the other way. So, oh. I, the I attorney guess. said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Alright, beyond mountain museum? D do what? Hello? Tis I. Where's the phone? Alright, this is the mountain museum, I'm assuming. Which means just beyond it. Oh, here's the office. Alright, I can zoom. Oh, it's over here. All right, he left the. That was a very fast message. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Oh no, I don't like that. Mr. McGrath. Hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. Delinquent customers. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So cutting off cell phones or cutting off phone lines to 
Uh, yeah, younger Carl, kids. It's Jenkins, the attorney. Who are gonna the hotel mess with? chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go oh, to the county land Bible. registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. <laughs> the law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. All right. Uh, it's uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? All right, I think I can do that. So, uh, go grab stuff. Uh, we're good. <laughs> we should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. M to open map. I have a map. Ooh, that's nice. Where am I? Okay, I'm in offices. I need to go to to-do list. Mr. Jenkins said he left the m management key in the master suite. Ooh, the fridge. Hold up. That's where I want to go first. Can I can I go to the fridge? That's where all the food is, right? Uh, main floor. Press E to show next floor. So up a floor. Master suite. Got it. Which is over by the stairs, which are... Ta 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 boo hum. Where did I come in from? Okay, I came in from there. So do I go nope, that's the wrong button. This way? No. I'll figure it out. I have to go this general direction. Here oh pff, duh. They're freaking right here. The game's a little stuttery, but I think I'm trying to record too much right now and I'll mess with my settings next time um, I hope it's not too horridly annoying all right master suites this way 101 102 blah 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 probably down the hall to the left master suite ha ha hey let's go in here Close the door. Just cuz. I don't think anyone's in this hotel right now. Should be fine, but... The existence issue. The staggering mysteries of being. How could our cosmos come into being? How do I even know I exist? Are there parallel universes? Oh, look! A jacket! That's great. Put that on an existential crisis magazine. Yes! That's perfect. Lovely advertising. My room, my rules. This is my room. Holy crap, it's pink. Oh, God, heart's beating. Here exactly the same as when me and mom left 10 years ago. It's so... Unicorns. Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Uncompleted 360 flip. Uncompleted as and I never finished. I never was able to do it. Or uncompleted because I was painting it and it's not done. All right. Let's go in here, because this is where he left the crap. I want to see what's on that picture. Leonard's book. Okay, so basically he had a lot of thoughts about space and existence. Puzzle cube. Where's the crap? I was... He said it was... In... The bedroom, right? Maybe not. Is it in the kitchen? Dining room table? Jenkins letter. Testament. Lawyer Benjamin Jenkins, blah, blah, blah. Dear Mrs. C Nicole Wilson, rece recipient. This is to inform you that the nominated personal res representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibilities are now redistributed to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in the correct envelope. 
If you if I do not receive your reply, objection to the pros proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and there Okay, if I don't send them back the letter, it's not mine. Last will and testament. Uh do I have to do something with it? Cigarette lighter. Observe a pen. Ooh, yes, I like pens. That's great, that's wonderful. Oh, so really an astro astrophysiologist or astro scientist i don't know where the heck did he leave the crap hold on management key in the master suite where the crap in the master suite oh hey this is it's in my room key let's my go my mom wouldn't give me when i was little huh. i'll need a master key for the guest room so all right well i have a management key Strange telephone. Uh, what do I do now? To-do list! Okay. That's helpful, thank you. Now I have to go back. Heck off, you waited till I got out. What is this, a joke? Ooh. Went all cinematic Hello? resolution on me. C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh... Uh, this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Yes. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? I don't uh, the think he line actually is old works but there. Sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You, uh... Bye. Ooh, straight denied. Let's go. All right. Irving doesn't actually work for the federal this place agency. This is a real mess. I bet. Never thought to find anything like that. I bet he's got alternate intentions. Frick. Am I supposed to be running towards it? Is that the wind? It gave me shift to run. Why do I need to run? Oh, it's these. Oh, that scared me. Overlook report. Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Yeah, huh? change your mind, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Obviously yes, obviously no. I can't select uh, either one. Yeah? Oh. Nicole, oh. Uh, listen, oh, if your you click for the one. Uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just. Uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below Ooh. zero, your lungs a would restaurant. collapse in a few minutes. Ooh. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. Nope. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! Uh-oh. I don't want to go out in the snow. Wrong. I have a 1986 Dodge. Everything! Everything can go wrong. Alright, am I just checking out the place? Crap is happening. Take back the car. And get away from here before the storm arrives. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. F all this. I don't think that's a good idea. 
I should have said no, but I actually didn't know how to. Um, I guess if I just leave it, it says no, and if I click, it says yes. Was that those doors? Um, okay. No like. Okay, I don't go out this way. Right, I have to go to the garage. Car. Good car. My car. Use. Oh, why am I calling him again? Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My f car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Ooh. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, someone that didn't took even my, uh, my mind. Someone freaking took my keys. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's Science always open. <sighs> Locker rooms. This place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. Old ski. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, fine. You're welcome. He's a nice man. All right, so I'm stuck. To-do list, I have to open the garage door. Hope it's working. Why am I opening the garage door if I can't go anywhere? Button, I see a button. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy. Hey, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back Ooh. here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. Um, I kind of want to know more, so I'm just going to go with that name. I guess I have to wait it out. I don't know if there's a way to... Oh, I can... I haven't uh, heard that name since I, I left. can use my scroll wheel. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Oop. He don't screwed up. All right. Now what do I do? To-do list. I don't have a to-do list, so... Um... I'm gonna come back here. I, it said something about a master key for the bedrooms. I'd assume something like that would be over here. Dying Rose. The crap? Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. <laughs> might. They might. Keyword. Uh, look. I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. You already okay. said that. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's how I was doing it. Just doing my job. All right. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with a job. You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Zoom, zoom, uh, okay. zoom. Uh, Why did he have to say it's safe? If he hadn't said it's safe, I can't believe it. I wouldn't have I'm thought stuck. otherwise. Yes, wonderful. What do I do? I have no idea. Day one. Oh no. Actually, I'm gonna have to end this episode of Suicide of Rachel Foster here. Um, they, uh, I like this game. <laughs> I love all sorts of intriguing mystery games, especially 
uh, kind of walking simulators where I don't have to do much except kind of walk around and just a, a good story unfolds. I really enjoy these types of games and this one's certainly not disappointing so far. I'm sorry if the recording was a little laggy or weird. My OBS is being grouchy right now, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and if you're new around here, consider subscribing to see more gaming content like this, Let's Plays, and stupid crap. And if you are subscribed, consider hitting the bell icon if you haven't already so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see all you guys in the next one.